The much anticipated Android 10 is currently being rolled out to Google Pixels owners in the US and I've just installed mine. Now there are some confusing features between the new version and the old version but don't worry I got you. Let me show you six different settings that you need to be aware of. Number five is absolutely my favorite. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So what can you expect on your Pixel 3 when you get it? Let me show you. Break it down now, phone. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Tech Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Right, so Android 10 is rolling out to Pixel owners today in the US. This is how you check if you've got it or you want to force that download. Go into your system settings, click on system, click on advanced and then you'll see system update, tap on that, and then you wanna click on check for update. If it's heading your way, you might be able to get a forced download. Now that you've done that, if you go onto the about phone, and then you go to the Android version, you should be able to see it says number 10, and if you tap on it multiple times, you get this cute little Easter egg, there's Android 10, and you can move things around. But we digress. <laughs> Yes, finally, dark theme has arrived on Android 10. Simply tap on it and there it is. Everything goes nice and dark, all the menus. But note, it's not gonna do it for every single application either. So here is Twitter, for example. That still does its own thing. Let's go check out Instagram, see what that looks like. Yep, Instagram still, again, does its own thing. So it doesn't apply to all apps. But things like the photo gallery, as an example, Yep, that does actually follow the dark theme situation. Now, remember, this will save you battery because the less bright your screen is, the less energy it takes, and it's actually quite a good little tip. Now, if you don't have it, click on that little pencil icon at the bottom left. Find dark theme is probably hidden somewhere because it's a new icon, and simply drag it, and now you've got it on your quick settings menu. Okay, the next big one is gestures. So, go into settings, Go down to where it says systems and you're gonna click on gestures. Next up, you're gonna click on system navigation and now you'll see it's set to the two buttons, but you can set it to three buttons, good old Android, where you've got your recently used applications, you've got your back button and you've got your home button. Okay, if you, this is kind of the old way of doing things, you can switch it back to two buttons or this new one, gesture navigation. Now, there's a little cogwheel next to it. That is for some settings. Let's just see what that does. Tap on that, and that's gonna give you sensitivity for the back, and I'll show you how that works now. Now, you can see the, all the buttons are gone. There's just this little line. If you tap on it, nothing happens because it's a gesture. You gotta swipe. If you swipe up, you're gonna get the app drawer. Swipe and hold it, and now you're gonna get the recently used applications. Now you can cycle through your applications by going left and right, but you can also use the gesture button at the bottom to do exactly the same thing. Right, let's open up an app. There's my photos, let's just swipe up and it brings it back to the home screen. Now you can see those two little arrows on the left and the right, watch this. Uh, okay, right, so I'm gonna swipe diagonally and it brings up my assistant and I can do it from both sides, the left and the right. Now, next thing. If you go into a menu, for example, and if you wanna go back, you normally will click the arrow at the top. But watch this, with gestures, you can simply swipe from the one side, or you can swipe from the other side, but they both go backwards. Not one is forward and one is backwards. In fact, they both go backwards. There's a little arrow showing you which way it's gonna go. Right, let's talk some notifications. If I swipe down, I see a notification, I can long hold it and say, okay, I want this one to be on silent, or I want it to actually give me an alert. And it's very easy to toggle between the two. Click on the gear icon at the top, and here are all my applications. And then I can kind of see what I'm being alerted and what I'm allowing, what I'm not allowing. And also a nice little touch that says how many notifications per day you get for this application. Okay, this one's interesting. Go into your settings, go down to where it says about phone, find your Android version, and look at this, you've got something called Google Play System Update. Click on that, and you can actually force it to look for a security update. So if you don't wanna wait for the monthly rollout, you can actually force one earlier. Okay, I think this is my favorite, favorite feature so far. 
So let me show you a do not disturb feature, which of course gets rid of all incoming calls, etc. But watch this. Now you have an option to turn on or to switch off the actual icons themselves. So you can see at the top there, I've got icons for a mail and some weather. If I press them off and on, they disappear or they come back. Therefore, this doesn't vie for my attention. I don't need to answer that mail immediately. This is absolutely great. Right, let's talk about digital well-being. This has been enhanced. It's got a whole bunch of features. Really worth spending some time and playing with it. Um, I do like the option, and this we had this before, where you can actually time out certain applications. You can click on it and say, how many hours per day am I allowed to use this? And it resets at midnight. But the one cool feature which I do like, scroll down and then you'll see something called flip to shh. So if you enable that, there we go. When an incoming call comes in or notifications, you flip it over and it shushes it. Now all you Pixel 3 owners, check out all these cool videos. Make sure you're getting the most out of your Pixel. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. And I will see you in those videos.